Next stop, Philadelphia, ACL, final chase, fourth and final nationals of the year. Let's get it in. All right, ACL Nation, it is final chase weekend, but first we gotta go to New York City. It's our yearly stop here for some media appearances. And the best part about coming to New York City is seeing none other than the ACL public relations guru, Marlon, just, just, just carrying cornhole boards. We got Courtney Coy and that guy, they cannot be hurting and wearing out their throwing arms. So we have to have Marlon carry the board. So we're making our way through the city here. We'll check out some of the live footage. Joining me right now, the founder and commissioner, Stacy Moore. You guys are preparing for a three-day competition in Pennsylvania. Tell us about how Cornhole gains in popularity, such so that there's a three-day competition and you're gonna be on ESPN, oh, following the Nathan's Famous Hot Dog Eating Championship. That's nope. top billing. That's top billing. We've got <laughs> three straight days on ESPN starting Friday night at nine o'clock. We're super excited for the weekend. We've got singles action, doubles action, culminating with our all-star event, the ACL Pro Invitational, featuring Matt Guy and Courtney Coy. What advice do you have for folks who wanna get involved in Portable? Cause you guys are in the bigs. This is, this is, there's money at stake. This is serious business. I think that they should practice all the time. Go to local blind dolls because they have them everywhere. Mm -hmm. And they just need to play all the time. Play against good competition. That makes them better. Okay. And then how did you two get matched up? So, um, we were ranked based on all the tournaments we went to. And top eight women and top eight men got paired together. So then we were, we just happened to be paired together because yeah. that's how we're our ranking based. up by our seating, so we got paired up together. Interesting. I don't like her, she don't like me. <laughs> <laughs> I can, I can. They like each other this weekend. I, uh, you know what, just between us girls, it's how I feel about the people yeah. upstairs, yeah. but we make yeah. it work. Somehow we make it work. Yeah. Right. All right, ACL Nation, we just got done with PIX local news station here off to Sportico. And then the tavern on the green that we're hitting here in New York City. Matt guy Courtney Coy just slinging four baggers right here on third. So we'll see if they can keep it up. Last one, the last pro national event of 2021, and where better to have it than Valley Forge, Pennsylvania, where it all started, where it all almost ended. We're all almost British because the winters get so bad here. We're gonna talk to my guy, Matt Guy here. Matt, how you feeling coming into this? Uh, obviously, we were just in Indy. Well, you know, we went and played with the regular folk, and you smoked a bunch of kids at the parking lot, and I'm, you, you hurt a lot of people's feelings that, that day. That was all fun and games. We're back to being serious. Uh, how are you feeling coming into the weekend, and what do you got for us as far as predictions? This is real serious today. Matt Guy's going to show out this weekend. I'm telling you right now. That's all. You, you heard it right here first. Matt Guy, he's, he, he's come to play. It's all business. All business. Let's go. All business. All right, ACL Nation, day one of the 2021 ACL final chase. Kick things off right in early with senior singles and women's doubles. Women's doubles action going to be on the main ACL court. Senior singles over on the ultra court. The women's doubles side, I'm really just looking. All eyes focused on Sarah Cassidy and Cheyenne Renner. Two wins already this season, reigning world champions in women's doubles. So they certainly come into this event as the favorites, but look for teams like Maya Cup and Allison Peters, or even Rosie Streaker and Sam Finley, who have yet to have a big breakout performance this season at a national. We'll see how it all plays out right here at Valley Forge. If the ACL had a swimsuit calendar, what male player would get the cover? Oh, Jamie Graham all day. 
Oh, Matthew Stout is the male. Brandon Jones. Does it have to be a player? Big burner set? Uh, I think Stacy needs to be on there. Get out of here. Ryan Smith's gonna get the cover, right? Mike Pfaff. Why would I care? Which player makes the cover? I do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys and girls, check this out. I'm a little different vlogger. I'm Bernie Neighbors. I'm not gonna be normal. We all know what it's like to hear about the players. We talk to them all the time. But what about behind the scenes? What are those people doing? Let's take a look. Here's what they're doing behind the scenes. They're tearing things down. ACL Pro Eric Ryder. How many other professionals can you lift at one time? Three. Three? Yeah, Which three? three? That'd, be, that'd be like three of the size of Madden. <laughs> three Maddens. Three you Maddens. heard it here first. Eric Ryder can lift three Maddens. <laughs> My guy Madden right here. You know, I've talked to all the guys that are really good at Cornwall, but I never really talked to the guys at the bottom of the pro barrel. Do you speak for yourself. <laughs> you I'll take have... 240, 230 any day. I just took $200 off of them. And that uh, answers our dream question. Dream on, Chad, dream on. Live here from the bottom of the pro barrel with my guy Madden. We are getting ready to film the DraftKings preview show. And it, it, see, she keeps running away, but you need to get Haley on camera because she's always behind the scenes. But yeah, she gets a little bit of a wave there. Getting ready with Mr. Sean Lincoln, $20 chef. And even, oh, 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 let's, get, let's also get oh. Fast Money Fred right here working on the lighting. Bow, 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 bow. <laughs> I could go with the heavy favorites, but there's just something about it, that Double D, that Sheila Roy, I just like them coming out of the middle of the pack and just letting everybody know how, how they get down. Yeah, see, for me, I'm I, I'm going in the opposite direction. I like the favorites. Um, I think our finals will end up being Smith and Renner, Cambit and Finley, but I'm actually, I've gone back and forth on this a lot. I think Cambit and Finley find a way to squeak it out over okay. Renner and Smith. So may not, I'm not going with the complete top dogs, but I am going with that plus 400 on the, on the future for, for Cam and Finley. I think that's probably your best, uh, uh, best, the best team right there, as well as how they're throwing right this very second. So uh, that's kind of who I'm looking for. And that bag is gonna be short. Wow. Mike Harvey, unbelievable get around. Will Damon Dennis go through or over? I assume through here to bring them both in. And an unbelievable cleanup. <laughs> this match got you fired up, Trey? It lulled us to sleep in the middle, but it ain't <laughs> lulling anybody to sleep here at the end. Damon Dennis stepping out to get around. Trying to put pressure on Ooh. Harvey for a collect. He does it. Harvey has to go after it. He gets oh it! Oh my goodness, what a shot. Harvey flexed it. He knows how big of a shot that was at this point in the game. Both players, one bag left in the round. And now, oh a bag goodness. in the hole for Racist. Mike Harvey for a ticket to his first ever singles playoff. And, and sign him up! <laughs> Mike Harvey! Gets defeated in game one by Damon Dennis, but the resiliency to take game two. It's a big oh, win man. right there. Was great. Great. What just happened right now? Give us a little something. Played the happened. greatest He's guy in the out. world, man. I love Damon Dennis. He's a man. Well, you're wondering, because Isidro was so good in the semifinals, you're just wondering, is this going to be the night that he finally gets that singles victory? But his doubles partner is just red hot here this weekend. Being a big old bully. Going in for the collect on the right hand side, and that could be it. As Windsor slides it in. And now Isidro Herrera, I think his best option is to possibly go with an and one here to knock this off, concede a point on the airmail. Oh, almost was able to do it, but instead the single bag drops in and Ryan Windsor dominates Valley Forge, a national champion again. Finally gets back to that podium that he has been chasing for the past year and a half. An incredible performance by none other than the blind scorer. What's your mindset going into this knowing it's the last pro national event of the year? Going good coming in. I love it. Going in, 
big intensity, ready to bring it home. Finish strong and don't get your hit. It's gonna be tough. Got some players on my heels. Hoping it's my day. Hopefully to win it, just like I did last time. All right, day two, listen. Do the podcast, we have fun with the courts, but it was time, I had to get in the action. What do I stack up? I ain't shit, but I'm trying, I'm testing myself. And uh, we won our first game in the city goal, me and my guy, Bobby. I got my guy, Tay, here, though. Tay, from Colorado. He said that he was probably gonna flop a little bit to make me look good in this. And I was like, no, you better not do that, my man. One hour later. That's me breaking myself into the sit and go world. And this is me breaking myself out of the sit and go world. I just flopped ugly. I let my partner down. People don't realize what the doubles court hole is. You know, I play myself, but I'm only letting myself down. But when you play doubles, you're not only letting yourself down, you're letting down a whole other person. And I feel terrible for my partner. I'm over here stinking the place up. This guy's like, what are we doing here? But I had a good first game, so hey, baby steps. To the father-son duo, potentially and now, for the title, and now a window of opportunity, a chance to win it. Yeah, because that bag, that you can't collect that bag. I, I, you just can't. You can't step out far enough. So now it's, it's essentially four bagger wins it from that guy. Brett has been missing left. Ever since this match started, he just has been not, not been able to zero it back in. Brett Kai going back to a step. He knows how hard this has got to be. And he pushes the wrong bag. It was the right speed. It just wasn't the right angle. And now this one can just about put this match away. Sneaks it in on the right side. Brett Guy has to collect one of these bags and hope for a miss by Matt Guy. And actually, that is board. going to do it. Yep, it's it. Matt Guy and Jamie Graham, your national doubles champions here in Valley Forge. Back to back national doubles winners. Bag brawl, final chase, super team. And a picture perfect block. Oh, it's something at the Finley now, a little. From right to end, Cassidy goes off. Now that's not the end of the world because it's right now you're just showing plus one. You got to leave this bag here if you're Cassidy. You got to go through here, leave this one. You can take this one with you. Oh no, that's not what you needed. Oh, but Finley can't bring him in. She's like, what? How are those not falling? Unfortunately, you have to be right here and you have to hope Sam Finley misses an airmail. I think that is your only option right now. Well, you gotta be careful, right? Because Finley's bags are right there. They look like they're ready to drop. Oh, and she Sarah left to be it so close, too short. short. Yep. She's trying to be so careful with that. For the win. And she, she two, but gets it goes off it. the back. I think it's still enough, though, right? That's three. That's the game. <laughs> yes, three points for Finley. So Samantha Finley and Rosie Streaker outlast Cassie and Renner for the doubles championship here in Valley Forge. Wow. What a game. And the 2019 world champions take down the 2020 world champions. I'm here with the lady champion. Ladies, you guys killed it. Sam and Rosie here. You stayed consistent the whole game. How do you not live and die on the emotion of a, a big miss, especially on a broadcast like this? You just have to minimize, really. That's the biggest thing. Miss badly, you gotta minimize it right after. Pretty much just wanna make them all in afterwards. Like, <laughs> yeah. We're here at the American Cornhole League's last pro national event of the year, the final chase in Valley Forge, Pennsylvania. So I decided to ask some of our pros one simple question to see if they're ready. If you were armed with a baseball bat, how many third graders could you take out if they all attack you at the exact same time? So about 26 of them. Probably about 35. All of them? All of them. I would take them all out. They're going down. Yep, they're ready. Bernie Neighbors back with more important questions to the world. Harley, what's it like having your formative years around all these drunken adults? 
Oh, it comes yeah. in handy that I remember all the things they don't sometimes. So, blackmail comes in handy. <laughs> You've heard it there first, folks. Harley Culpepper, blackmails drunk people. We're playing against each other a good bit in local tournaments and everything. And then once he became pro and he qualified, we were the only two pros in Louisiana. We figured it would be a good combination for us to be able to play together. We play a lot of local tournaments together, or even over some conferences and things like that. So it just worked out really good. Damon Dennis has cashed in one of his missed credits. He cannot miss another bag. And again, Philip Hayden back in that rhythm. Off to the right. And now this could be game. A four-bagger will win it for Philip Hayden. He's got one more bag left. Damon Dennis' best shot, if he could, were to be to block here. That could still be dragged, but in for the win and it is good philip hayden with the four bagger would require a miracle of somehow getting that bag to come back will there be a new sheriff in town airmail to try and get them both can't do it and philip hayden knocks off number one he is your senior single champion here at valley forge Wow, how about that, Philip Hayden? Incredible, an upset, big upset. I love it, I love it, Jeff. Bernie Neighbors here again, kids. I always ask the important questions. Here with ACL pros, Jay Dot and Anthony Kissel. Gentlemen, what is it about guys from Ohio that requires you to have terrible haircuts and sleeveless shirts? I don't know, mine's not sleeveless, but I got a hell of a haircut. <laughs> What is your reason? I have to have this haircut. Well, I thought mine was good. Alright, we're going back to the broadcast court, I promise. Right now we're taking a little hiatus, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. The Browns winning the school. Yes, Browns Super Bowl. Alright, whatever. I don't do shots. Your <laughs> <laughs> All right, I would like some more dancing from my favorite, two of my favorite female bros. The Brits moves are incredible. I mean, we need to make a meme. It's a meme. <laughs> Yeah, throws it too short. Third time. And now Shane's got a chance to put this one away. She's been nearly perfect here in this match. Finish up. This can pretty much put it away right here. Beautiful. Yeah, it's in. And that is going to do it. Cheyenne Renner and Ryan Smith, 2021 ACL Pro Invitational Champions. Again, down 18 to 11 in the quarterfinals. They come storing back to win it just to advance to the semifinals, and then after that, I mean, they just put on a show.